Dan, you operate the Herco machines here. What, what do you think of, let's start with like the VM10. Is this a small machine, but does it pack a punch? It does pack a punch. Um, we machine a variety of uh, steels, including stainless, um, also a lot of aluminium and copper. Um, and when you're machining stainless, do you get any sort of vibration on the machine? Not particularly, it depends on the size of cut you're taking. Um, normally we don't take too big of a cut with stainless, as it's quite abrasive, but the machine it's handled what, what we've thrown at it up there so far. Because it has got a small footprint, it's also quite low as well, so it's great when you're trying to get it into a small footprint, but what people might want to make sure is that it can maintain tolerances, and, and you'd, you'd agree that it, it can on regardless of what you're cutting? Oh, definitely. Um, I mean, we machine down to like one micron. Um, it's, it's really, really accurate. What, what about the control? What do you think on your side, Dan? We hear from a lot of people that, that this Max 5 control is so easy to use, you can get in, adjust things quickly. W would you concur with that? I do, yes. Um, from setting up to programming, you can be doing that in 15 minutes. Very user-friendly control, um, and I do like the touchscreen on it. Is there any cycles in there that you could think of that really might have saved you a lot of time? I don't know, a specific might be doing a pocket, might be changing, any, anything that jumps to mind that you think, oh, I like that one? Yeah, definitely doing pockets and like frames. It's just one, it's one block. You just put your dimensions in, the depth you need to go, and press go. And did you have much experience machining before you used the Herco control? And if so, how does it compare to getting to grips with these machines? Well, funny enough, I've only ever used Herco, so I know them really, really well.